Hello good day, welcome to another one of my tutorials. Today I'll be talking about connecting a client to a server, um, connecting the client to the same domain. Um, here I have my server powered off and my client. At the beginning you should note that um, make sure the both the client and the server have the same network um, adapter. I use the host adapter because it's the one that works. So, so I'm going to start up the server and the client. Uh, for your server to properly become the domain on which your client connects, you must ensure that your server roles you have um, Active Directory domain services installed in your server roles. So we just run through the installation of this. While our server is installing roles, let's get right down to it in the client. So the first step would be going to, well, setting up the IP address for the client. So let's go into control panel. Then we go to network and um, network and sharing. This will of course be just in Windows 7. In the other editions of Windows, it will be slightly different, but I'm sure you can follow. Change adapter settings. And here we go to properties. And here we'll be configuring IP version 4. Use the following address and I'll use 10.3. Subnet mask would automatically be entered. Default gateway, we'll leave that until we configure our server. And the DNS would be the same, so we'll be back. Ah, here we go. Um, it's good to ensure that you have um, network security discovery sorry turned on okay as you can see my as you can see my installation of the active directory domain services has completed so I'll just close this after the installation of active directory domain services go into active directory domain services itself and you will notice that you'll see this message. So in order to get it up and running properly, you have to run the Active Directory Domain Services um, installation, DC promo. So we'll be running this. Next. We will be, what we'll be doing here is creating a forest. This is where the domain will be within the service. Within the, um, the server, I'm sorry. We'll be creating a new domain, um, I'll call it forest.net. Next. Yes, they, um, I think they want you to use dot something. I'm not sure why really, but it's best to go with what they told us. Next. The answer for next. Yes. So I'm just running through some of this. Um, you'll have to have a password. Okay. Next. And here we go. Installation of DC promo. Alright. So we'll be going to networks and sharing center. And just like in the client, we'll also be turning on network discovery. See, it's on default, it's, it's off, so we'll be turning this on. Okay, it's on. I believe it's on there. Custom. 
pass up detection. Off. I'm only doing this for the, t the tutorial to prevent any conflicts. I'm sure for security reasons when you are implementing this in a real life situation you would have your password protection sharing on. Ah wonderful. Our wizard has completed and the main services has also finished. Let's close that off. We're starting now since I'm still working the network here. That we'll go to manage network connections. Here we have our Alright. Let's go into TCP IP Fusion 4. We'll be configuring the server. Um, let's see. Mm, 10. Dot. And, okay, this is it. So, this IP address is the one we'll be using in the client so that the client and the server can connect. So, this one right here. Okay, and okay. Right. Let's head over to the client now. Control panel and network. Change adapter settings. All right, for the for, for the default gateway, we'll use the server's IP address. Also for preferred DNS. One and two, one six eight, ten dot five. Okay. Now that's completed. Let's see if these two PCs can communicate. We'll go into command prompt. And as you can see here, packet sent for received for lost to zero. This means that the client and the server are communicating. Alright, so that's the first part of the tutorial. Second, we will be connecting the client to the server on the same domain. Okay, for this part of the tutorial, we will be going to my computer, properties. You right click anywhere here in the empty space. All right, changing settings. Uh, to rename the computer, we'll go and rename it. For this, it can be sometimes confusing to be typing in client dash PC all the time, so let's just call it client. Simple enough. Gets the job done. All right, domain. The domain that we had was forest.net, so let's forest.net. Oh. Before we do that, we also have to we have to add this client into the server as one as well, one of the users. So let's restart the PC. Restart. All right. Restart. Oh, boy. Hardware maintenance installation. Let's call it that. Okay. Let's go. All right. As so the server has just restarted, and as you can see, you see forest slash administrator this is the domain okay all right let's get right back into the madness all right as i was saying before before you can add the client to the server you will need to create a profile for the person so that they will be able to access the domain all right, let's just get right into it. Server manager. Oh, and for those of you who are wondering why it, the screen looks so much better now, I added the Oracle guest editions. To access that, you can just go to devices, install guest editions, and it pretty much cleans up everything. You can freely change the size of the screen. Unlike before, there was... Um, a lot of problems with that. Really messy and whatnot. Yeah, it's it's just nice, you know. Okay, so we.
Okay, the next part of this adding the client to the domain. We go into Active Directory Domain. Domain Services. Go into Forest.net Users. And we create a new user. First name. Um, let's call him Bob. Last name, um, Bob Smith. Yeah, that sounds good. Um, user logo name will be Bob dot Smith or B Smith. Yeah, that sounds good. B Smith. At uh, first dot net. Next password. You'll have to enter this when he is trying to log in. User must change password at next login. Hmm. Okay, let, we just put a simple password. Let's see if one, two, three, four. So he can change it to whatever he likes afterwards. Alright, next. Finished. Uh, Windows gonna set the password because it doesn't. Okay. So it seems you have to put uh, some sort of, you know. Char special characters in your password. You can't just have the simple one, two, three thing. Even though I just wanted it for what the hmm, okay. So you want something, alright. For purposes in this video, I'll just have a password that never expires. Okay. What? Bastard. Okay. Our new user has been created. Bob Smith. How you going, Bob? Now we'll be adding the client to the domain, which is forest.net. Okay, here we will be entering the username and the password. Enter the name and password of an account with permission to join the domain. That would be B Smith. Ah. Welcome to the forest.net domain, Bob. Uh, now Bob is a part of the forest domain. Okay, we are back to the welcome screen. Let's see if Bob can connect to the with his profile to the domain. Okay, so we have B Smith. All right. And as you can see, he can get onto the domain. Okay, so we went over how to set up your client and server to connect to each other, how to create a forest, and um, how to connect your client to the to the same domain as the server. This is the end of my tutorial. Thank you and good luck.